Alright, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be talking about when to expect your first snowfall this upcoming fall and winter season. We do this video every single year and it's always one of my favorites to do for you guys. Now before I get into the video, be sure to destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm and also leave a comment down below because that also helps out as well. And be sure to subscribe if you like weather related content. Also, I wanted to announce that yesterday's upload was our second installment of our winter forecast. If you missed that video, it's on the top right corner up above. We have the precipitation forecast, temperature forecast, snowfall forecast, and even overall forecast over there. Also, if you guys like the video and then leave a comment down below with your location, I'm going to be responding to as many of those as possible and letting you guys know if I'm expecting above average or below average snowfall for your region. So be sure to leave a comment down below and like the video so I can give you guys a custom forecast for this upcoming snow season. Now let's get straight into this video and we are taking a look here at our first layer here. We do this by layers. And this is just going to be based on your historical average. So basically, this is our will get snow layer. If you're outside of this, this does not mean that you definitely won't get snow, but on average, you do not. So if it's an abnormally snowy season, yes, you might get snowfall. But on average, this white region is who usually, on average, will see snowfall throughout a winter season and fall season as well for some, some people in here. Now, that's an obvious layer. I don't need to touch on that too much, I don't think. So let's just move on to our next one. This one is our will get snow before January layer. So this means basically anywhere within here is going to see snowfall at some point between September and the very, very end of December. Uh, if you're in this white region still, that means basically it's going to be after January, but you will see snowfall. So I'm actually included in this in Southeast Virginia. Probably a few of you are also included in this throughout North Carolina, perhaps down there in uh, the Dallas Fort Worth area and many, many others throughout this white region that's still left over. Now let's add another layer here. And this is our will get snow before mid December region. So basically this region, it's before December 15th, you're expected to see your first snowfall in this darker blue region. Now, if you're still in the lighter blue region, that basically means your average snowfall, your average first snowfall is going to be between December 15th and the end of December. Uh, so that window, that 15 day window is your average time frame to see your first snowfall. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and move on because we have so many layers to go over still to show you guys so we can pinpoint everybody's average first snowfall date. Now, stay tuned for the end because we're actually going to be taking a look at the average snowfall chance for everybody and, and kind of compare that to normal. We can see who is going to have an above average chance of snowfall this winter and a below average snowfall chance this upcoming winter as well. So stay tuned for that at the very end of the video. Now this region here is our will get snow before December region. So that means now, just to recap here because it's getting a little overwhelming, the white region you expect to see snowfall, but it will be after uh, the beginning of January there. So it's sometime in January or February. That lighter blue region, it's sometime between December 15th and the end of December. Now that moderate blue in there, that kind of ocean blue color, that is sometime between December 1st and December 15th is your average first snowfall. And now this darker blue region will get snow before December in general. So sometime in November, October, September, it, somewhere in there is when you expect to see your first snowfall for the snow season. Obviously, that's some pretty early dates there for a lot of you folks up there in New England, the upper Midwest there, uh, a lot of the Ohio Valley, the northern regions in the Ohio Valley, uh, and also the Rockies, of course. They probably get their first snowfall in late August. We'll see later on, though, uh, if that is the case. Now, let's go ahead and add our next layer here, and this is our magenta shade. This is our will get snow before mid-November here, so sometime between now and obviously November 15th. That now means that this dark blue region, almost like a dark navy blue region uh, that encompasses Cleveland, Detroit, Chicago there, Boston as well, some of the, some of the na major cities in there, just to name a few, that region is going to see their first snowfall on average between November 15th and the beginning of December. Obviously, it's at this point, I want to remind you guys, I probably should have reminded you of this earlier. This is a very low resolution hand drawn version of your average snowfall. So if you live on a mountaintop that's very random, uh, do not get mad at me that your region is wrong here because elevation is going to change a lot here. 
Uh, obviously, for some regions, I would have to just paint in one pixel, literally one pixel to where you wouldn't even see it just to, you know, because your average is so much different than somewhere one mile from you. This is a generalized version. If, if you're in kind of an average elevation region for your area, this will probably be very accurate. But if you're in some sort of weird elevation area for your region, this might be a tiny bit off. So you're going to want to also do some extra research as well. If you live on a mountaintop or in a very, very low river valley, perhaps there is some things that could change this quite a bit for sure. This is hand drawn by me. So I do my best, but there is some inaccuracies for some of those elevation uh, issues for sure. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to move on and we're going to take a look at our last couple of layers. We have two more layers to go over. And then finally, we're going to take a look at that snowfall chance forecast at the end to see if you have a below average snowfall chance this upcoming winter or an above average snowfall chance as well. So stay tuned for those things. Now, this pink region here that I'm showing on screen is our will get snow before November in general there. So that means sometime in September or October or perhaps even August for some very, very exclusive regions there. Uh, this means now that our magenta shade is expected to get their first snowfall sometime between November 1st and November 15th. So Minneapolis is in there uh, and that's well, Buffalo's in there as well, uh, but that's basically it for the major cities there. So that is a pretty exclusive region as well already. Uh, but this pink region, it's before November. Very, very interesting stuff here. I'm going to recap at the end, by the way, just to give you guys a brief recap. We have one last layer here, and this is our red layer, and this is our will get snow before October layer. So some of these regions in September or even very late August will see snowfall there in some of those very tall mountaintops, some of the tallest in the country between Wyoming and Montana there, and then also for Colorado. That is some of our taller mountains here in the United States. And that's why they get those very, very early season snowfall events there. So just to recap, uh, if you're in this red region before October is your average first snowfall, the pink region is going to be sometime uh, in October. So there's many of these pink regions throughout the United States there. That is sometime in October is your average first snowfall. In this purple region, it's going to be sometime between November 1st and November 15th in this magenta shade again. The darker blue is sometime... Uh, before between basically November 15th and December 1st the dark, the kind of medium ocean blue shade will be sometime between December 1st and December 15th uh, this lightest blue shade will be sometime between December 15th and the beginning of January and then that white region will be sometime uh, after the end of December so sometime after January 1st is when this white region will expect to see their first snowfall so hopefully that makes sense guys let's move on to that snowfall chance forecast real quick like I told you guys we do if you're in this tan shade you expect to have below average snowfall chance this upcoming snowfall season you can watch my winter forecast that I kind of plugged in the beginning there to find out more about why I'm calling for this but I really thoroughly go over this in the winter forecast so I highly recommend you check that out we have above average snowfall chance up there in the Pacific Northwest expected because of the way we forecasted the temperatures and precipitation to be. Those two things combined leads to this conclusion, by the way. And then the eastern half of the country, we do expect above average snowfall chance out there as well. And we even have a second shade of that blue indicating an even further above average snowfall chance for this darker blue region. Anyways, for today's confidence tab, we're obviously at a 6 out of 6 because we weren't even really forecasting anything today. We're basically just talking about the averages. So I'm telling you guys what the averages are and our confidence is high that that is the average. So it's not that complicated. It's not really a forecast today. This is more of just like a looking back at historical averages and informing those of you about it. Again, there is some inaccuracies for elevation though. For today's comment of the day, we didn't ask for a comment of the day yesterday, but we decided to go ahead and pick James Moore because he was so sad about that there being no comment of the day that we just decided to go ahead and choose him for today's comment of the day. We choose him a lot anyway, so he shouldn't be too sad, but we decided to go ahead and do it anyway. We didn't ask for one today either, but we are going to be featuring one tomorrow, so we're just going to pick a random comment tomorrow. So be sure to comment down below uh, something you might think that I might pick, and I might pick it. For today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons, John Ben Benick, James Wade, Dovey Nagel, Larry Pan, and Donna Carnes. 
Alongside our Diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Cotalesa, Cat Bite, Charles Stinnett, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Flego, Gary, John Quilisi, Dwight Phelan, and Steven Grunenthal. If you would like to be a part of this exciting patron end screen today, you can do so by joining our very awesome Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I would also like to thank our channel members, Hair Farms 1 and Cat Bite as well. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to destroy the like button and leave a comment down below to help me out and help that YouTube algorithm out. Also, be sure to comment your location as well so I can give you that custom forecast. And also be sure to subscribe if you like weather-related content. I will see you guys in the next video.